Hey, it's me, it's Wild for Games, your Streamlab advisor, and today I'm gonna share everything you need to know about mod tools. If you're not familiar with mod tools, essentially it's an automated moderation for common chat spams, such as excessive use of caps, symbols, links, offensive words, emotes, and long paragraphs. To set up any of the moderation tools, make sure you have CloudBot enabled. When on the mod tool page, the tools that are accessible to you are caps protection, symbol protection, link protection, word protection, paragraph protection, and emote protection. You can simply enable any of these tools by toggling on the right side on or off. Once enabled, you can customize the settings by simply clicking on preferences. Under the preferences tool is where you can refine the tool to your liking. Under here, you will see options like auto permit, which allows you to exclude certain user roles such as subscribers and regulars from being punished. Punishment, which allows you to customize what type of punishment users will receive. Send punishment message, which determines whether or not a bot will send a message to the chat when the punishment is executed. Minimum amount refers to the minimum amount of characters, emotes, caps, and symbols that can appear within a message before the bot starts checking whether or not it should be punished. Max amounts the same as minimum amount, just on the maximum side. Maximum percent, which works in conjunction with minimum amount, which allows you to change how strict the bot is when it comes to punishing users. Max message length is a setting that is exclusive to paragraph protection, which determines the max chat message length a user can type in before it will be punished. Streamlabs gives you total control on how the tools will be used in conjunction with punishing a user that oversteps the boundary. So allow me to explain real quickly how the punishment works and how you can refine it down. For this example here, we're gonna use the caps protection tool and set it to a minimum amount of five, a maximum amount of 10, and a maximum percentage of 45. If a user typed in this message here, this game is simply awesome, they would not be punished despite surpassing the minimum amount of five capital letters because the word awesome does not compromise the 45%. It's actually only taking up 25% of the total message. And that's how punishments work. If you're still confused, not to worry, I'm gonna put a link to a blog down below that'll give you a few more examples. Link protection prevents users from posting links in your chat without your permission. If you need to change any of the preferences, you're able to whitelist certain websites so that way those links can be submitted without fear of punishment. Auto permit allows a certain group of users to submit without being punished, for example, subscribers or regulars. In addition to the auto permit functionality, mods can also grant access to users on an individual basis. If a viewer asks permission to post a link, mods can simply type in exclamation point permit and that user's name to allow them to post. In addition, you can also do permit duration, which allows you to customize the time a user has until they can no longer post a link. And of course, you can protect yourself from certain websites by blacklisting, which will prohibit certain websites from being shown under any circumstance. Now, one protection tool I recommend and most streamers do out there as well is having word protection which will remove messages containing offensive words and slurs. But you can add specific words or phrases to your blacklist. When you add a word to the blacklist, you can determine a punishment. You have purge, timeout, or ban. For advanced users, when adding a word to the blacklist, you will see a checkbox that says, this word contains regular expression. You can toggle this on to do some advanced filtering by setting up your own expression to catch multiple variations in one swoop. Making sure that your stream channel, you and your community is safe is my top priority and also Streamlabs. And speaking of your community, how about we start rewarding them for them being loyal? I'm gonna put a video over here on the right that shows you how to use the loyalty system. Give it a good old check. Once again, my name's Wild for Games and I will see you in the next Streamlabs video coming out real soon. Take care all and peace.